But on the set of it, I went and saw this movie, and um, uh, with, uh, the king, it's something about the king, but what happened in Sweden um, was a, as a country, and during the war it was neutral, wasn't it, Sweden? Now, Sweden, uh, Norway was part of Sweden. Mm -hmm. So Norway seceded from Sweden. I see. And then they had Sweden was a country, and Norway had a king. And the king was elected, and he was like here the Governor General in Australia, and mm -hmm. in England the Queen. Mm -hmm. So he was the king, but the Parliament decided what to do. Mm -hmm. And anyway, the German army came in. And the king had been telling this uh, government, listen, you better mobilize, you better get soldiers ready, you better, mm -hmm. you know. And the parliament said, no, no, we're, we're neutral. We're going to be neutral. We don't have sure. to mobilize. And um, so, because the moral, what, what the king was probably saying is saying, look, you mobilize, you have some strength. And they'll think twice before attacking you because sure. it'll hurt them to attack you. Whereas you got nothing, they just walk in. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the German army walked in, and this is a struggle of what actually happened. Uh, um, yeah, how how they tried to um, get the king to um, uh, uh, back the German government. You know, the, the people, and, and he wouldn't. He wouldn't, mm -hmm. and I think he eventually escaped to England. Then he came back to he eventually came back to uh, Norway as king and his mm -hmm. son. But but, um, uh, but he wouldn't do that. He said, "No, the people have elected me, and the people would. Uh, you can't just because the German government's appointed this new government doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I got to, you know, the, the mm -hmm. king. The people appointed me, so I appoint what the people want, and the people don't want that government. Mm -hmm. And anyway, the the answer was that the the, the Norwegian army." fought a little bit but there weren't much of an army and eventually they they surrendered all and uh, but um of course uh, germany lost the war and it came back to normal but um it, it's, it's it was a good story about um you know what happens and uh you know one minute you're safe the next minute you got nothing have you well the, the other thing is too you know you, you you talk about would you go and die for your country that that used to be people were so patriotic even when you were a kid they, yeah, they're going to that yeah. stupid war in vietnam but well, they say, yeah, well, I, I got called up for Vietnam and I would have probably would have gone because you have to go, otherwise they put you in jail. Uh, so, but what would I have done though? I don't know, I suppose, you know, I might have done very well. I might have, might have been a thinking but the, officer. The, 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 the thing, people, a lot of people turned out really bad there. You said it. It's, yeah, it's, well. It wasn't the, a good experience. There's also. I think so, yeah. There's also the health risks too. The, the, they, all those chemicals they used there, they, they were very, that Agent Orange is dangerous stuff. Yeah, no, well, you know, a lot of these things really weren't good for your health. No, it wasn't. Yeah. And um, that defoliant, well, it kills the plants. Well, what does it do to you long term, 30 years down the track? See, we're war. If, That's the problem. If somebody, say, if an army. But does it, anger, does it anger you? Let me ask you this. Does it anger you? This same government is the same government who goes and puts a speed trap down there, or the, the council drives around in their car. To see your parking infringement, you, you you've gone off to fight. Oh no! But you sacrificed for your country, and then they they they're trying to trap their own citizens. Or well, you don't no, see it that way. No, no. Yeah, I think you fought for the country because, um, yeah, like if somebody attacks Australia, sure, uh, Australia's really not got much of a defence. But if somebody attacks Australia, well, mm. you don't just surrender. You you you, sure. you got to defend your country. It's your country, so you try and defend yourself. Sure. And somebody attacked England or somebody attacks, attacks America, they don't say, oh, well, just surrender. They fight back, don't they? Sure. And it's, it's better, like when the, when the English surrendered in Singapore, the sure. Japanese treated them very badly. Sure. So they shouldn't have surrendered, they should have kept on fighting, and they would have won because the Japanese were almost finished. Uh, so um, yeah. you, you ha you, you have somebody uh, attacks your country, well, you've got no alternative but to protect it to the best of your ability. But to go and just sure. go on war, get in, in, and fight wars when you don't really have to fight wars is is debatable whether you should do that and um and then you know like you see that they had this they had this psych thing they psych people up if you, if you didn't like for instance if, if you didn't volunteer there's a, sure. a, there's a war so uh, people are going to war now if you didn't that they, they would put white feathers in your letterbox yeah and they'd put all these all this pressure on sure, you sure, that sure, you're a coward sure. you're, you're this and they spit at you and Women would say, "Oh, you're a coward," and sure. you know, and um, so that's how they, in, you know, sure. persuaded people to go to war. Because, of course, 
in Australia there was no conscription, I think. It was just voluntary army. Uh, no, they, they, I think they did have conscription. Right at the end, did they? Yeah. World War Two. Yeah, they did, they did, they did. Did they? they did. But uh, at the end, I, I think. But the, 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 the problem... The problem is there, you know. It's all very good to to go off for your country. I, I think I think people are getting smarter and realizing, hey, I don't really want to die. No, you know, like the the funny thing is, you you go to a war there. The closest, you you know, in, in the corporate world, if you go to these dangerous country, you get danger money, don't you? Now, yes, yeah, yeah, you do. But these these soldiers don't really get; they get a bit, bit of sort of a pittance, don't they, to, to sacrifice their life, and um, it, it's a very, very, very well, bad thing, isn't well, it? Well, but really? Germany was uh, in the in that war. Germany was attacking and taking over all these countries, and then treating those residents very bad. Sure, uh, like the Jewish people, the Polish, there was there were gas chambers, they were killed. Uh, sure. Yeah. So, well, sure. what, what do you do? You, you you surrender and go in the gas chambers, or or do you uh, get a rifle and try and defend yourself? Yes, yes, that's exactly. And, and the the Jews for for uh, yeah for reasons that I don't uh, yeah I don't I, there's sound reasons why they didn't do anything, but I, I don't know why. You know, I haven't thought about it. But, but they weren't able to um, if they'd have known what what the consequences were. You know, if they'd have known that three years' time we're all being gas chambers and being killed, sure, but that, 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 that was the whole thing with the Nazis. They did never actually publicly told anyone that no, gas chambers. No, Even it, the German people boy, didn't often, often didn't. Yeah. Often didn't. So um, if you'd have known that, that they would have they would have had a riot. Have got you, their money. They would have materialized, got rifles, and yes. and you know had, had an underground partisan army defeating these Germans. Yes, but, but they didn't know. They they, were, they thought they were German themselves, done. and mm-hmm. Germany look after them, and they're German yes. or whatever, and. Um, um, yeah, it's just it's a bit like this Korean guy. He uh, Saddam Hussein was going to have nuclear weapons, and he didn't do it. And they, they hung him in the end. The Americans hung him. And sure. uh, Gaddafi, he, he met some bad fate too. He he mm-hmm. agreed to uh, not do certain things. And so North Korean guy saying, "Well, listen, if I agree not to do what what you told me, I'll be the next guy hung." I see. So he doesn't want to do what the Americans say. But anything in America, like I suppose they're saying, well, you're, you're going to hurl these bloody rockets at Guam. Well, you can hurl the next one and see what happens to you. So he's changed his mind. He's going to defer it for a month or two. You know, and he'll probably defer it forever. Sure. Unless he wants to be hung or, you know. I mean, if, if he um, sends a missile at Guam, mm. and especially hits Guam, Americans are going to belt shit out of him, his capital, and everywhere all around him. You know, there's going to be nuclear bombs and he, he, he'll be dead. And, and, yes. and if he's not dead, he'd be hiding in, in a bloody hole like like that uh, Saddam Hussein was hiding when they mm. found him. You know, he'd be so scared because there'd yeah. be very little place to hide. No, and no, that's, so that's you know, true. It, uh, that's yeah. He wants to be silly. Well, you can be silly, uh, and yet the president of South Korea said, "No, no, we North Korea and, Korea and South Korea will never be at war anymore. We'll never be at war fighting anymore." That's what he said. But he doesn't want to fight. The people don't want to fight. And I asked, you know, this girl from Korea who came last week. I was talking to her. I said, "How's it up there?" She says, "Oh, the people don't. The people in Korea just don't worry about it. They know what North Korea is like. And they just uh, just keep living a normal life. They just keep on going." Yes. And uh, no. interesting, interesting situation. 